Welcome to Electro Online, and here are a couple more examples on how to be able to convert equations, polar equations, to rectangular equations. Now, these are rather unusual, but you need to know how to be able to do these. So, what do you do when you get something like this? Theta equals pi over 2. What does that look like in terms of rectangular coordinates? Well, the first thing you may want to do is say, take the sine or the cosine of both sides. It really doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and try the cosine. So, take the cosine of the left side and the cosine of the right side. So if theta equals pi over 2, then when we take the cosine of both sides, that should still be the same. Now let's multiply both sides of the equation by r and see what we get. So now we have r times the cosine of theta is equal to r times the cosine of pi divided by 2. Now, r times the cosine of theta, well, that is equal to x, so we can convert this to x. x equals r cosine of theta. And the cosine of pi over 2, well, that's equal to 0. So this gives us r times 0, which means x equals 0. And this is the, the uh, what we call rectangular uh, equivalent of theta equals pi divided by 2. And if we were to graph that on the xy axis, there's my y axis, there's my x axis. Of course, when x equals 0, that means it's a line right on top of the y-axis. So x equals 0 is equal to this. That means theta equals pi divided by 2 is also that line right there. Another way of looking at it, if we're going to graph this in polar coordinates without converting, think about it this way. So here we have the x-y-axis. And first we want to find the angle of pi divided by 2, which is 90 degrees. So starting from the positive x-axis, we move through an angle of 90 degrees, which means the angle is this right here. This would be pi divided by 2. And then since we do not specify the length r, that means it can go infinitely in one direction, infinitely in the other direction, which means it can be represented by this straight line right on top of the y-axis. So either way, we get the exact same graph. Now let's try pi equals, I mean theta equals pi. Again, what we're going to do here is we're going to take the cosine of both sides. So the cosine of theta equals the cosine of pi. The next thing we're going to do is multiply both sides times, times r and see what we get. So we have r times the cosine of theta is equal to r times the cosine of pi. Now, cosine of r cosine of theta, that is equal to x. And the cosine of pi is equal to negative 1. So r is equal to r times the cosine of pi would be times negative 1. What we're going to do now is multiply, not multiply both sides, but square both sides. So we're going to square the left side and we're going to square the right side. So that means we get x squared on the left side and negative 1 squared is positive 1. So this gives us r squared on the right side. And then remember that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So we can write x squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, which means we can subtract an x squared from both sides and we get y squared is equal to 0 or y equals 0. So this is the rectangular equivalent of theta equals pi. So when we graph y equals 0, we get the following graph. Here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis. Well, when y is equal to 0, that means x can be any value as long as the y coordinate is 0, which means that's a line right on top of the, oop, that would be y equals 0, right on top of the x-axis, so y equals 0. And now let's take a look at this equation and see how we would graph that in polar coordinates. Again, let's draw the x-y axis for reference. So that's the y-axis, that's the x-axis. So we're going to find an angle of pi relative to the positive x-axis. I mean, starting from here, we have an angle all the way out to here that is equal to pi, so theta equals pi. And now at that point, once we get to that location, remember that r is not specified. r can be any value in the positive negative direction which means it would be this line right here, which is the exact same graph that we have over here. So this would be theta equals pi, and this would be y equals 0. The same graph with very different uh, equations, one in the polar coordinates and the other one in rectangular coordinates. And that's how we do that.